Hey guys, it's Marianne, and this is not going to be a makeup or beauty or fashion related video. Um, this is going to be a video about a cookbook that I recently got. Um, so if you guys aren't really interested in that kind of thing, I will not be offended if you guys don't watch. Um, but like I said, this channel, you know, it's going to be mainly about makeup and all that, but I also like to throw in things that interest me and do different vlogs and things like that. So. Um, I am a big fan of the television show The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Um, I actually love all of them. New York, the um, OC, Atlanta is okay too. Um, but I really, really like The Real Housewives of New Jersey, and I guess I'm partial to them because I'm from New Jersey. Um, but one of the housewives on the show, Teresa, um, came out with her own cookbook called Skinny Italian. And I was so excited because obviously I'm Italian, my entire family is Italian, and um, you know, I grew up watching my mom and still to this day, um, my grandmother and my mom, you know, making gravy or sauce, whatever you want to call it, we call it um, gravy. Um, every Sunday for macaroni and we eat at, you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's like an Italian tradition, so, um, you know, to this day, I'm 23 years old and I live at home still, and in the morning I wake up and I can smell my mom making, you know, the macaroni gravy upstairs, so it's something that I grew up with. Um, I love Italian food, and, you know, I have never been a good cook. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, and I have been very spoiled when it comes to, you know, having, you know, living at home and having my mom cooking and all of that. So I really have made it a point to learn to cook. Um, and I am one of those people who could probably burn water. Um, so I really wanted to get this book. But on top of that, Teresa had done a um, book tour, and I was super excited because you could go and buy her book, and then she would sign it for you, and you could kind of meet her, and I just thought that that was so fun, so my friend Gabby and I, we went to Borders when she was having a book signing, and we bought her cookbook, and we met her, and I will put a picture from that at the end of this video if you're interested. Um, she was so super sweet. Um, me, when I'm around people who are, you know, famous or well-known, um, I tend to not know what to say. Um, so, you know, but she was so super sweet and she was just the nicest person ever. So anyway, um, when I came home, I was showing my mom the book. And just so you guys can see, let me just take that out. This is what the book looks like. Um, and again, it's called Skinny Italian. And... Um, it says on it, eat it and enjoy it, live la bella vita, and look great too. So, you know, there are recipes that are good for you as well, because a lot of times people associate, you know, Italian food with being high in fat and high in carbs and all that. Um, and she really tosses out in here, you know, different recipes that are good for you, um, you know, and things like that. How to enjoy eating and not worry about, you know, packing on the pounds, I guess. So... Um, I really want to recommend this book to you guys. Even if you're not Italian, um, I think you would really enjoy it. There are tons of recipes in here um, for, you know, there's steak, there's fish, there's a lot of um, macaroni recipes, um, there's recipes for drinks, alcoholic drinks, um, desserts, things like that. Um, and I just, I think it's a really, really great cookbook. And my problem is with cookbooks sometimes they don't explain things clearly and that could be just because I'm not a good cook so you know I get confused easily when I'm reading the you know the ingredients list and how to do it but it's so easy to follow these recipes and the recipes are so easy and I actually made well I guess I'll show you guys first she did find the book which I'm very excited about um, so that's her signature um, and if I can just find what I made. Um, I was really surprised. It was super, super good. Um, I probably should have had the book open to this before I started recording. But um, there's also a lot of pizza recipes in here, which I am very excited to try. Um, oh, my gosh, where is it? 
we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the recipe, and that's what it looks like in the book. Um, keep in mind, mine didn't come out looking that fabulous, but <laughs> that is pretty much what it's supposed to look like. And it's called Teresa's Favorite Tagliatelle. Now, I could be saying that wrong. That is how I say it. Um, I don't speak Italian, so if I say it wrong, forgive me. Um, but it is super easy to make, and for me to say that, it has to be easy to make. And it's basically just, um, it's, you can use, um, tagliatelle is basically like a, um, a, like a macaroni, kind of like a spaghetti. But I know some stores I couldn't find it at, so I had to use um, linguine, which is, of course, like another kind of spaghetti. Um, then you just need olive oil, onion, garlic, butter. Um, you get six like sliced smoked ham, um, peas, you need salt and ground pepper, and then just very, very, very simple directions on the bottom here to make it. And it didn't take me long to make at all. My entire family enjoyed it. Um, and trust me, my family is not the type to say, oh yeah, I love this, if they really don't like it. So. Um, they really, really liked it. We obviously had leftovers because Italians always overcook and have leftovers, but um, it was really simple to make, and I'm super excited to try um, some different uh, recipes in here, like I said, especially the pizza. Um, but again, I would really recommend this book. I mean, it, you know, on top of the recipes, there's, you know, pictures of her and her, her family and her beautiful daughters. Um, she talks about, you know, her family, there's, you know, every few pages there's a little, it's called, um, let me see, it's called Tidbits from Joe, and Joe is her husband, and he just, you know, writes his own little thing, and he talks about different things with cooking and all that. Um, it's just a great family cookbook, in my opinion. I mean, for instance, if you just look at this page, I hope, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. There's a picture of her with her, like I said, her daughters. And then on the other side, there's, you know, her husband with her daughters. And there's pictures in here of, you know, her mom and dad. And, you know, she has different stories in here about, you know, her mom and dad and different stories behind the recipes themselves. So I would definitely, definitely recommend this book to you guys. This was only... 19.99. I believe it's a little bit cheaper on Amazon.com, but in my opinion, it was definitely worth 19.99. I mean, there are some great, great recipes in here, and um, I definitely recommend it to you guys. So, this is um, Teresa Judice. I think that's how you say her name. Judice. Judice. I don't know. Teresa. Um, <laughs> I know a lot of people pronounce her name completely different than that. She does talk about it. Um, in here somewhere, I think it's Judice, maybe, Judice, Teresa, Judice, that sounds right, um, <laughs> but this is the book, um, definitely pick it up, it is an amazing, amazing cookbook, um, and if you guys do pick it up and try out any of the recipes, let me know how they turn out, um, and if you guys have any questions about it or about the recipes or anything, let me know. Um, I will put a link in the information bar down below to Amazon.com um, or BarnesandNoble.com, Borders.com, whatever, um, where you can purchase this. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to tell you guys about this amazing cookbook um, and that it worked out really well for me the first time I used it. So um, I'll keep you guys updated if and when, well, when I do another recipe, and I will let you know how it came out. So that's it for now. Peace, love, and pug hugs. Bye-bye.